Hi there, this is Chris. Welcome to video number nine. Today I'm making a tree, an imagination tree. I started out this, this project with no idea of what I was going to do today. You know, I thought that uh, throughout the 52 weeks I would always be coming up with new ideas of what to, what to paint and what to draw. But that's not really what's happening here. I have a lot of ideas. But at the same time, this, this videos just take a long time to make. So when I'm thinking of what I'm going to make in front of the camera, I'm also thinking about how much time is it going to take me to edit this video, which I think is a problem. I, I think I have to switch that mindset and just paint whatever it is that I want to paint and just let the camera roll. And sometimes I'm going to have more time to... It's going to take me longer to edit a video and do the voiceover and all this stuff than other times. But my goal is to really, really just produce one video a week. Sometimes it's going to be good, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's going to be short, sometimes it's going to be long. So one thing that I always do when I'm feeling with no inspiration or I, have, I can't come up with something to paint is to draw a tree. I always start with a tree. Somehow I can always go back to a tree. I like to paint trees that don't really exist in nature. And for this one, I chose to go with bluish, purplish and <laughs> reddish. And I started out by doing that layer of gray in the back. And I, my plan was to build up and create more contrast in the front with the darker, more saturated colors.
here I got, I had already set up the, uh, the trunk of the tree with a yellow color to be, work as a highlight in the back or behind the, the brown color that I'm gonna add to it. And I came back with the brown. I added a little bit of blue to it to make it more towards gray while it's still remaining a brownish color. Then I came back to it with, with it to reinforce the trunk and give it shape. I think this trunk came out really nice. I had a loose idea of what I wanted to this bottom of the tree to look like. And that's usually how I go. I normally do not create a sketch or do anything before I start a painting like this. If it's a bigger painting, I will sketch and do a test before I start. Or if it's a house portrait, I'll do a little test with the colors and the shapes that I'm gonna use. But for something like this, I, ju I was just loosely going with it. As, I, as I, I was just choosing the colors as I went and I had a very loose idea of what I wanted the tree to look like. I think I could have left a little more space between, you know, a, a more empty spaces in the crown of the tree. I'll keep that in mind for my next one. something I usually don't do which is when I make a tree which is to paint the background but I thought that um, this time adding some blue back there it would help the red parts of the tree to pop up a little more to look a little more contrasty so that's one thing that I am not very happy with with this painting is the contrast from the crown of the tree I didn't get the contrast level that I wanted and I felt at this point I felt that I had already worked on it too much and after this if I kept working on it it was just gonna be overworked <laughs> I don't know maybe I could have used a pen or some pencils colored pencils to to add some more contrast on the crown I don't know But this is one of those paintings that I just wasn't feeling it. I like the trunk though. I think the trunk and the, the ground there, that came out good. And even the background, it's just that crown of that tree that bugs me.
we're getting to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Friday. I hope you have a very, very good week. See you next time. Bye.